And between setting the goal and actually reaching the goal might take that full year. It might even take two years. How many times have you set a goal and then you reach the deadline and think, oh, I'm not there yet. And then mm. it takes another six months. Happens, right. happens often. Hello and welcome to the PyBytes podcast, where we talk about Python, career, and mindset. We're your hosts. I'm Julian Sequeira. And I am Bob Beldebos. If you're looking to improve your Python, your career, and learn the mindset for success, this is the podcast for you. Let's get started. Welcome back to another PyBytes podcast episode. This is Julian. I'm here with Bob. How's it going, man? Awesome. Great. Happy to be back. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. It's late at night, so I'm. Uh, let's let's hustle this one out because I'm tired. No, I feel I'm a bit bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. It's what we do. It's what we've got to push. Got to hustle. Uh, how's how's the week going? All good. Yeah, great. Um, coding, content, coaching. It's it's super exciting. Just uh, the winds channel blew up on PDM. People sharing amazing things, and uh, but also getting some coding time in uh, because we're so busy. And yeah, uh, working on the yep. well. That's just kick off with a win. Then uh, SQL model path is progressing. So I made a little fitness tracker kind of app and i'm breaking it down into exercises so uh exciting exciting cool. what about you fair yeah very nice no no it's all good it's all good uh it's been a great start to the week uh we i'm actually here i was supposed to be in seattle this week so it's nice to be at home that i, I didn't have to go so that's that's always great but um yeah as a pie bites win we did hire an extra staffer this week uh, bring them on board as a contractor. Uh, more details on that next week. Uh, we're just uh, seeing how it works out first for this first week. But uh, so far, so good. I'm very, very yeah. impressed. So that's exciting so and a big win. Super exciting. Yeah. Yeah. And the the personal win, and uh, I, I don't think I mentioned this to everyone, but uh, I did mention we had solar panels installed on the house a couple of months back. And our first electricity bill came in and it was, I'm going to say, it was ninety percent cheaper than, wow. than the amazing. previous bill, the previous quarter. So I, I'm over the moon. What a, it was a wonderful investment. So that's good. Yeah, um, that's very happy. impressive. Yeah, yeah. And then of course the hot water system broke last week. So all those savings, went all that saving is gone. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, but hey, so for everyone listening and watching, because we're this is all on YouTube now as well. Hi YouTube. Um, this this is not actually forced this conversation because Bob and I have cut down the amount of times we talk during the week, and this is actually the first time we've talked over video. So you're just listening to us now. So thank you for listening to uh, our ramblings. But we do have an episode for you today. We do have something to talk about. And do you mind if I just jump in, Bob? Just kick it up, man. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So this this one I can't think of. I have to come up with a catchy title afterwards but we sort of wanted to talk about the journey loving the journey to your goal right so uh, i actually have this great chat with um i check in with him once a week with ranui rice he was one of our guests on episode i've got it written down episode 29 so way back i was chatting with yeah way back way back we're at 96 now this is very exciting uh so this is thanks to ra to this conversation it really triggered this this line of thought but when you have a goal it can be given your goal can be quite extreme right you think about the goals that you might have with python it might be to land a python job it might be to uh, get some freedom so that you can work from home or freelance and never have to work for a company ever again uh, all those sorts of things right it could be earning enough money to buy your dream house Car, build your own business. Build your own business. Get the kids about through. Goals. Yeah, exactly. Get the kids through university or whatever it is, right? A lot of this is monetary, but there's all sorts of things that come with these goals that you might set for yourself. And the catch is it can take time. Now, these goals don't just happen overnight. You can't just land the Python job tomorrow because you suddenly set the goal for tomorrow. So in all likelihood, you'll do things like set your goal to be a year out, six months out, two years out, depending on what it is. 
Now it takes time to get there. So between now and between setting the goal and actually reaching the goal might take that full year. It might even take two years. How many times have you set a goal and then you reach the deadline and think, oh, I'm not there yet. And then mm. it takes another six months. Happens right. happens often, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And one of the byproducts of doing this that we should all remember is that we can beat ourselves up when we don't hit that goal in the timeline that we want. Uh, even before that deadline is is there, it can be very hard to stay motivated and keep pushing towards that goal, especially if you sit there and think, I'm no closer to that goal than I was two months ago, two weeks ago, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so from a coding perspective, let's think back to the coding. If you're coding every day, but then, and your goal is to get a job, a year later, you still haven't got the job, but your coding is haphazard. You're coding once a week. You're coding. Sometimes you do a sprint for a week in a row. Sometimes you won't code for a month, all those sorts of things. And then you start to feel bad about it. And then you give up. Is that has that ever happened, Bob, to you? Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's what we uh, start telling ourselves, right? Self-sabotaging. Mm. So, are we getting your mindset loops here? We are. We're getting the mindset Damn loops. It. You didn't tell me. <laughs> so, okay. So from a coding perspective, again, and, and you're going to throw on an, an example after this, I know. Um, but from a coding perspective, the challenge I have for all of you listening is we need to fall in love with the process. We need to fall in love with the things that we have to do to achieve the goal. Now, Bob's example is very, is very visible. It's very tangible, right? But from a coding perspective, it can be very difficult to visualize this. So I'll do my best here. You can code every single day and hate it. And it's going to be very difficult to get to your goal when that's your mindset around coding. If you really dislike it, it's going to be a slog. And maybe another question you should be asking is, is this for me, right? But here's the catch. If you, if you can separate the difficulty from the fact that it's something that you love doing and embrace it, you're going to hit that goal without even thinking about it. So what I want you to try and do, and that may not have made too much sense as I replay that in my head, but I'm trying. So <laughs> what I want you to do is think to yourself, what can I do and how can I tell myself that I love sitting down and coding for an hour every day? So mm. forget the goal, forget the fact that your goal is to get to a Python job and just maybe reposition the goal to be I'm coding every day. My goal is to code every day. My goal is to sit down and code three times a week, right? Mm. And give yourself that win. Give yourself that win that, hey, you did sit down and code three times a week. You have been sitting down and coding every single day. There's the win. I'm so happy. I'm proud of myself. I'm getting that adrenaline, that endorphin, endorphin rush. I'm feeling like I'm accomplished. I've hit the goal, right? Because that feeling of hitting your goal is incredible. So if your goal is to code every day, then do that or even start smaller. My, my goal is to code every second day. And as we always say, if you break it down to these bite-sized chunks, right, you'll see all these tiny little bits of effort that you're putting in actually get you to that goal anyway. It's just that you've fallen in love with that process of coding every single day because that's your goal and you love it, right? So I know that's a... It, it's almost like seeing your GitHub streak, those little green squares mm. happening, right? Giving yourself those little win streaks. If you can fall in love with just ticking those boxes every day that you pushed some code that you coded, then in a year from now, you're going to have a full grid of green boxes and you're going to be able to show, prove to yourself, holy crap, I can do this and I can hit this goal. I can get the job. Did you know just, we emulated that uh, streak calendar yeah. on the platform? Yeah, it's on the platform. So those of you who haven't checked out the platform, you could code and every day and get that. People love green. it. It's it's really yeah. motivating seeing those greens, you know. Exactly. So to paraphrase, you might have big goals, but if you keep focusing on those big goals, which are usually far out, <clears throat> it can be easy to get demotivated. Mm. So you need to enjoy the daily grind. And 
I guess, celebrates smaller wins. For example, yep. when we build a coding platform uh, far out, right? <laughs> um, but I remember those subtasks of, for example, get the GitHub login working on the site. Yay, we got that working, right? Uh, mm -hmm. So there were like smaller wins and yeah, just stacking those up kept us going and, and kept us motivated. Uh, I think with the PyBet CMS, right? Remember we had those pairing sessions and we were like mm. with a <laughs> with a blank uh, Django editor <laughs> or uh, blank Django project, a blank uh, yeah. code editor. And we we're like, what the hell, right? But then we did the <laughs> models, started to do a view. Um, and now it's like way advanced, right? But uh, <laughs> if we would have just stuck to like that end result, it, it, it would be very, what was the word you yeah. taught me? Arduous? Arduous. Arduous. Yeah. It, it'd be exhausting and you'd lose that steam. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, you know, to break it down even more. So you're talking about the specific features that, that we coded and even with the platform, if you break it down to even a more granular even smaller, approach, I guess, right. Yeah. yeah. We, we celebrated the win that we sat there every Wednesday and did a pair programming session. We showed up, right? Yeah. We showed up yeah. to do it and came it to see weekly, that as the win. The weekly yeah. um, recurring invite. Yeah. Yep. And I remember, you know, I think because I had some travel or something, there was a, a week that we missed it. And I certainly felt that sort of loss of like, oh, I didn't achieve the goal of sitting down and coding with you on a, on a Wednesday night. And mm -hmm. then when I came back and did it the next time, it felt like, yes, I've, I've won. I've achieved the goal, even though the app was not built. Right. The app That's was a good not point. There. That's a good point to even get to a more micro level because mm -hmm. GitHub login might actually be a four to eight hour developer task. But if you just celebrate the win, the fact that you're putting your daily hour in, yeah, that can be massive as compared to going at this journey um, in a haphazard way, right? Hmm. Yeah, exactly. So that's the nice. coding side of it. And as we always do, there's, there's so many other ways that you can uh, apply this in your day to day. So what's, you've got a much more tangible I don't exactly. know what you're alluding to the whole time. I was going to do books, but um, a gym? <laughs> uh, the gym. Talk about the gym. Uh, I didn't prepare. You, you prepared for me, obviously, then. Um, <laughs> okay, gym now or like when I was losing weight and stuff? Maybe that was oh, whatever. Right? Whatever works for you. Yeah. Whatever works. Okay, let's tell the story. Uh, so I was overweight um, <laughs> a couple of years ago. And um, yeah, I, I set out to... Um, so I hired a fitness coach. Uh, it's where I learned about coaching, how powerful that can be. And uh, we set out a plan to, you know, hit a good physique, right? Because I had to lose like 10 kilos at least, right? And, you know, that goal can be overwhelming, <clears throat> is overwhelming. And seeing that week to week can be frustrating because you might not lose as much weight as you want. Um, it's, it's a long journey, right? Like half a year, some, something like a half a year. Probably. And so, yeah, you can keep focusing on that 10 kilo less goal, but that, that you will lose motivation, right? Hmm. So going week by week, measuring the progress, that was really motivating. And it was literally like every workout, just show up, do the work, uh, improving and, and a lot of measuring, right? Um, but get measures, get managed as he uh, always yeah. quote Peter Drucker on. Um, so that's an example, I think, um, just the small wins, the, the, mm. the daily workouts, right. Um, super important. And what, what I remember from, from that is that it's one, it's not easy to do to show up to the gym every single day, especially when you've, you've never built the habit before is extremely difficult, but in that's your painful. situation, I still remember you falling in love with the actual process of going to mm. the gym. So you weren't focused on the 10 kilos to, to lose. You weren't focused on um, the end goal of I need a six pack and I want to have my summer body and all that sort of stuff. Right. I want to be able to wear um, no tight undies. <laughs> no. Um, but you know, you weren't focused on that end goal. You were focused on, I need to get to the gym and I need to freaking love it. And you would have this feeling of elation after every workout. You, I remember you recording WhatsApp messages on the phone, whatever. You'd be like, oh, I did my fifth workout of the week or I did my third workout this week and it just feels fantastic. And 
the six pack, the the arms, the shoulders, the back, all no that side stuff effect, followed. Right? Yeah, it just followed, yeah. right? Yeah. You followed the process of just doing that base habit and forcing yourself to like it and enjoy it, and it it it's difficult, but it doesn't mean it's not something you don't love to do, right? There are it's, plenty of things it, I love to do, but it's hard to do it. It's difficult at first when you don't have the habit, mm. but that's that's the beauty of habits, right? They're hard to build, but once you have these habits in place, they're relatively easy to maintain, right? Mm. So do like your four or five workouts a week for three weeks, and you don't know any better, right? Actually, when you don't go to the gym, you feel really bad, like similarly to what you said about us missing our pairing session yeah. after four weeks, right? We had that habit. Um, also, let's talk about confidence, right? What, what does that discipline of showing up every day do with your confidence? You just feel awesome about yourself, right? Like mm. you're, you're, you raise your standards and my standards are show up in the gym every day and do the hard work, right? Because yeah, as you say, it's not always fun. It's, uh, obviously you're not going to, uh, yeah, do a bunch of lights up. Obviously you, you, you do hard work, right? And, and with coding the same, it's, uh, Ideally, you have a program, um, a routine that constantly challenges you, right? Um, that's the same with working out and, and becoming a programmer, right? You cannot stay at the same level. You need to increase the load, right? So, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that discipline um, is super extensible to all areas of life. And um, that's why we're keen on working out and the fitness because it carries over to so many other areas in life. Yeah. No, I love it, man. And it, actually, that's a really good point that you bring up with the confidence thing. You know, when you do that, you're proving to yourself that you can do something, that you can commit to something, that you have that self-control to own your um, routine, to own your own schedule, uh, all sorts of other things. And it just Ownership. has this great, yeah, this yeah. great flow on effect. So love it. Love it. All right. That's us. We, we had a mutual soapbox this week. Yeah. And we're we both, said love it at them. the exact same time. It's kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> totally all right reversed. i think that's it for the nugget and the content um mm. or did you want to add anything no, no i'm good i'm good all right cool I'm ready for bed all right before that what you're reading <laughs> what do i read so what am i going to go read in bed in like 10 minutes uh aside from pie white stuff um i was talking about the wizard of earth sea so i actually just got so sucked into it i finished it and uh I forgot how short it actually was. So I was like, this is it. Damn. Uh, so I finished that. I'm on the second book, which is like the tombs of Atuan or something like that. I don't know, but uh, nice. I'm going to kick that off uh, tonight. Um, and just the other thing, a slight book win I wanted to share was, you know, I, I got the kids, the uh, barefoot investor, oh, for yeah. kids yeah. book. Glad you're sharing uh, that. Yeah. It came out last week. It launched and um, it's just building such incredible money habits with my, my two boys and uh, to the point where over the weekend, they're talking about entrepreneurial stuff. They're talking That's about so cool. adding chores in for the sake of the fact that they're, they're going to have some chores that they get paid for, which I already do. Uh, so they don't get pocket money. They just get paid for the work they do in the house. And then they're going to do three extra chores because that's what it means to be part of the family to help out in the house and i was like oh my gosh yes didn't wow. even think about that one but they love it so that's there's, a win, there's man. a slight book win slight book win for me yeah, so yeah there yeah. you go super uh, what super about amazing inspiring and you got me to Thanks, order uh, some kayasaki book uh, nino <laughs> listo nino rico or, or the other way around but some finance stuff because yeah mm. you cannot teach that stuff early enough right it's a life skill yeah exactly yeah, yeah. Awesome. And what about you? What's um, um what are I'm you reading? finishing and the cool thing about video, well, audio listeners cannot see this, YouTube listeners <laughs> can see this. I'm finishing um the emotional revolution, mm. harnessing the power of your emotions for a more positive life. Nice. So a lot of mindfulness and just you know, recognizing emotions and and it's it's an interesting read. It's a bit long. There are some boring parts, so I did skip ahead a little bit. Perfectionism, right? You don't have to read the whole book. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I'm working on that. Um, and uh, I just yeah, I think emotions. Well, that's your department mindset. Um, emotions are super important, right? So it's it's good to um, spend some time um, learning how to you know recognize great awareness and all that stuff and um nice. finally picking up refactoring second edition again mm. so one third in 
really good read. I mean, it's a classic and um, it's it's just a joy. You know, the, the refactorings, the code, um, very well explained. And it's just an awesome catalog of refactorings. So I'm recognizing a lot, learning some new stuff. And uh, it's a it's a JavaScript, um, but you know, it's just generically it's 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 yeah, really readable. Principles still apply. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nice. I like so it. Highly recommend it. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Well, we'll have all those links in the uh, the show notes anyway for any of the yeah, stuff Yeah, we add them to our Pybytes but... book, uh, Pybytes yeah. books reading list. Yeah. Exactly. Perfect. Uh, um, well, that's yeah, it. So everyone, final shout out I things. I was going to say, before we go, we mm. are, this is episode 96, 97. 96. Yeah. We need 96. to do something special for number hundred. Yeah. So if you have any ideas for episode 100, uh, let us know. We'd love to hear from you, but yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. No, I An think episode... we need to do a live event. Oh my gosh. That's not recorded, bro. I'm going to edit idea. this out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's celebrate. 100, I mean, 100 episodes. That's uh, a major feat, right? Almost look, looking at the calendar four weeks from now, that might that's be like, like a, the, Christmas. That's still before Christmas. <laughs> getting getting close. Yeah. yeah, we should be able to do it. I, I'm looking forward to it. We, we've got to do something special. Um, I so did you're like going the... to wear your special Christmas outfit for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I, I have a Santa hat. So I'll wear a Santa hat. I don't, do. I don't have anything else. Oh, I'll, I'll come up with something. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's it. But, uh, you know what? I'm cutting this episode before you come up with any more stuff for me to do it on our 100th episode. So thank you, everyone, for listening. <laughs> we appreciate all your support um, over the past 96 episodes. And uh, we will be back next week. Done. Yep. Yeah. hope this is helpful. And uh, we're back next week with a new episode. Thanks for listening. Yeah. Cheers. We hope you enjoyed this episode. To hear more from us, go to pybyte slash friends. That is pybit.es slash friends and receive a free gift just for being a friend of the show. And to join our thriving Slack community of Python programmers, go to pybytes slash community. That's pybit.es forward slash community. We hope to see you there and catch you in the next episode.